everybody, and welcome back to another edition of WoW Mods. This time around, <clears throat> sorry, I had to clear my throat there. Um, this time around, we're back and we're looking at the High Elven mod. Um, you're looking at a little bit of lag there. Uh, that's a bit of an issue that I still haven't resolved. Um, in this particular uh, zone of uh, the mod, that's due to... Um, some of the bugs on the previous uh, uh, editing software that uh, I used for this. So I'm going to gra gradually see if I can eliminate that. But we're back and we're taking just a look at some of the areas because there's new things that have been added. As you can see, there's a high elven, a high elven symbol um, right over there by the, um, uh, by the cemetery and there's one on top of the building. So these New little elements are sort of crowning everything. You can see a statue there to the right, uh, to the left. Um, and if we could just come back to this area, there's a little bit more of detail work um, uh, that's been done. Uh, there's things that have been uh, moved, a little micro environments such as, um, you know, an outdoor smoking uh, area, the statues, detail work, really. It's detail work and sort of micro environments that make um, each zone. And of course we also have uh, the NPCs that are uh, populating uh, the entire area. Now here we just take a look at the uh, at the grand tree there um, and we're gonna start looking at some of the minor changes that I did to the previous version um, as well as um, you know the NPCs that, that that I added into the server. So it gives you a bit of an idea of how you can populate uh, the zone. You can do whatever you want um, with the zone, um, but I, I tried to keep some similarity with um, with the Blood Elf uh, starving uh, starting zone, except um, you know for certain things. So here you can see what I did is just I just went around and I added some details to areas that you wouldn't normally see. So like the back of the hills. Um, not entirely intricate, but enough to not break your immersion and realize that you've been in, in, in a modded area. There's a little bit of a floating detail there that I need to take care of. Um, but some of the trees, for example, some of the trees, and I don't know if you can see some of the particles that we have um, floating through the air, are new. And these are sort of uh, located where the trees have crystals. Now this is for potential quests um, that I have in mind for this uh, particular area, but yeah, if if you get close to it, you'll notice like a very faint detail of uh, blue uh, pollen floating around the trees. It gives it a very uh, in-game uh, magical feeling, and these little crystals that are uh, either growing or dispersed throughout the trees. So that works out um, really well. Moving into uh, the town, there's a lot more texturing going on. Um, uh, <clears throat> playing with the palettes, the new version of the editing software that I have um, has actually allowed me a little bit more control with uh, with texturing. It was before it was a pain in the ass. Here you can see, look, uh, little details such as leaves falling from from trees, as well as uh, butterflies in, in different areas. So yeah, it, minor changes, minor tweaks uh, in terrain, just um, making it seem a little bit more natural. There's slight slopes and inclines and irregularity uh, in the terrain um, which uh, makes it interesting. Irregularities where there should be irregularities and then uh, pretty much plain uh, stuff as we see it. We can see there the the, uh, the topping elements that I said to the buildings. Now those are some uh, high elven uh, custom um, models that I made. They, they blend in perfectly with the with the night elf uh, runes, they're the same tones. The texture has been edited to sort of incorporate some of the elements of the Night Elven runes and, the, and their original texture. Now, um, if we go back into the uh, lake area, we'll see a lot more sort of things floating through the air, a lot of more magical things. Lily pads have um, flowers and fireflies going around them. So when this environment is at, it, when it's actually dark, it looks actually really nice, really uh, tranquil um, and alive. And then you have like little elements like this, which is really what make zones. So, you know, if someone were to actually enjoy this and they would set up their, uh, you know, uh, towels and, and, and fruit and whatever, and just sit down there and, uh, and enjoy the view. 
Um, what we're gonna go ahead and do now is, uh, we really don't need to take a look into that. Or actually, you know what, we will head back and, um, what we'll do is, we'll take a look at some of the, 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 the irregularities of the train. There's more texturing to be done, where you see that there might be things that aren't completely great. That's probably because I still haven't done a second pass, um, which I will most likely do. Now in this area here, we can see, oh look, we've got two dead trolls uh, right there. And that's, um, of course, because the guard NPCs are now um, in the barricades. And they're sort of taking business. So, um, more details uh, in terms of sort of like fine tuning that. But um, yeah, as 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 you can see, we'll ha we have some of the guards that go out and uh, attack those. I would want to get um, perhaps um, NPCs like trolls that are actually able to fight um, against the guards, so they have a little bit of fighting on the on the outskirts of the city. Um, but it's but it works it works well. I'm just using uh, in-game NPCs, and now we have a little bit more variety of high elven NPCs sort of um, uh, populating the area. Um, there's some functionality put into it. I, I do have um, a uh, uh, the proper lodge uh, NPCs and banking and trade NPCs. Um, they're all there, so hopefully that uh, that is good and that'll be taken care of. Um, of course, the map, uh, people have to actually play on it in order to, um, let's say, debug uh, the zone. But um, everything's looking uh, pretty good. We're pretty close to where we want it. There's some ground effects detail. I, I have to actually run the files through the uh, to get proper grass placement and shrubs. Because um, as, as you can see right now, it's sort of on the on the road, which isn't exactly what I want. Um, I wanted it on the grass, uh, but that's a very sort of like last step type of thing. And right now, I'm just sort of showing you the actual design of the area. So here, um, we have uh, a cave. We have some trolls just mounted everywhere. Now this this area is uh, the troll woods. We can't see it because I've I've uh, I, I hid the uh, the GUI and um, so we do, we do have a lot of sort of like troll adornments. We have things sort of uh, hanging from the trees. Um, and the trolls are, are pretty much uh, present everywhere. Um, I do want to add some wild animal uh, uh, NPCs uh, to this area. I still haven't decided on which, so right now we just got the, the trolls. But now um, we're actually going to walk into the, uh, the troll town. Uh, which is at the uh, opposite side of uh, our previous High Elven Zone. Um, now you can see it's pretty standard uh, forest trolls. Um, there's uh, elements borrowed from uh, other sort of uh, tribal um, races, and it sort of meshes well um, with the uh, with with the trolls, uh, and it, it also gives it sort of like a unique feel. Um, to them. So that uh, is working very well. And um, for those of you who are curious, the area, you know, like any area in, 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 in northern Lordaeron that's on the uh, eastern side or the eastern seas used to be, you know, held by the, by the trolls and some of them were displaced, of course, because of the troll wars by the High Elves. So it just makes sense that these that the zones of uh, high elves, blood elves, um, and forest trolls uh, are sort of a continuous um, fight for dominance. Um, and here we're just going to come and see the last uh, little bit, uh, last element uh, that we have here, which is this pyramid, um, which is constructed and has a series of uh, acolytes here just uh, waiting to receive their uh, devious orders. Now I just realized um, as we're looking at this that um, because I don't have the uh, GUI active, we can't see the name of the zones. Um, so I, I actually want to head back and do that. Um, and um, because I want you to see, I, you've seen already the names of the, of the previous zones uh, in the last video. Uh, I want to go ahead and, and, and do that 
uh, right now so that you could actually um, just see what the what the zones are called and, and how it's working. You won't be able to hear the actual in-game music, but once you enter um, the the actual areas, you'll get tribal music. Um, uh, so even the environment, uh, um, in terms of the soundscape, um, has been modded, um, and and it works well. Um, it works well. It's uh, it's interesting. And it should be an asset uh, to any particular uh, role-playing server uh, that's interested in having it. Oh, it seems like... Uh, do we have there? No, it was just uh, just had a little bit of a disconnect there from something. Not entirely sure what it is. But yeah. Um, so, um, uh, having said that, uh, I am open to uh, handing this off uh, to a, a role-playing server. So if, um, if you're uh, someone from a role-playing server and you would like to see this on your server, um, ask your game managers your ga or your server administrators to uh, send their um, info to me and, and we can talk. Um, um, I do enjoy doing these things, but obviously I, I, it, it would be nice to actually have other people enjoy them uh, as well. So um, having said that and having had a sort of interesting little video um, <laughs> demonstration there, we're going to pass and we're going to go to the last element of this entire zone, which is why it took me a little bit longer um, that I wanted to because I wasn't sure that I actually wanted to do this zone. but. Um, because of how this is actually edited, um, sorry about that. I just had, uh, a little bit of a, of an issue there with, uh, with the audio. So, um, yeah, this is, uh, this zone is, uh, is I've now called the, the Elven, uh, path. And it's essentially... A path to the lower area of uh, the map. Now, the lower uh, level of the area does exist in WoW. It's a, it's sort of an out of the way area with a couple of uh, dwarven buildings and farms, and it's really not all that interesting. So, um, because it's included within the files and areas that I've modified up in the mountains. Um, I thought, why the hell not uh, just extend uh, uh, into this area and redesign it. You can see a little bit of uh, an issue there with the water. Um, the, there's sort of a, a change in color with, uh, with the mod. I still haven't gotten around to, to, to fine-tuning that. But this is um, now what I call the Sunspear uh, port. Um, and it's essentially, um, I guess, a combination of the, the previous sort of dwarven area that was here and um, a port. So we have, um, I guess lore-wise, if you wanted to, 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 to think about this area, this could be the area of how these particular elves get their supplies. And um, this area, because it is... Uh, uh, um, apart from everything else, it's kind of protected, so they can actually grow things here, they can fish. Um, and I also wanted it to, to have a little bit more of, a, of an industrial feel to it. So there's granaries and there's cranes about, and you can actually see them rebuilding. Uh, I mean, you can't tell it from this angle uh, going into the lodge, but you can definitely see them rebuilding elements um, uh, of the lodge, and and that's great, um, and um, so you you have an an, an a, a second town, uh, so to speak, uh, to roll uh, to role play with. You also have a port to role play with. You also have a, a ship um, to role play with, an additional ship uh, to role play with. You have this sort of grand beacon um, with that uh, high elven gem on top. I stopped short of putting a, a lighthouse light on it because it didn't look quite right. Um, but yeah, this is uh, this is the port, and um, the actual ship does have a name, so you can see here. And there's some fishing, and 
uh, little boats uh, and um, uh, like every port, you know, you have sort of ballistas defending it. Uh, you got your fishermen, you've got everything. And now if we go into the ship um, called Anastarian's Revenge, which is a play, of course, on, uh, on, on Queen Anne's uh, Revenge, uh, and in this case, Anastarian being their last king. Um, so yeah, this is pretty much uh, the entire area. Uh, what's left of the uh, area over there was um, is just essentially farms. And, um, and the reason we're not too, too interested uh, in, in talking much more about this is that, yeah, there was a lot of work that went into this, but a lot of it had to do with actually retexturing um, uh, the mountains using a completely uh, different palette, trying to figure out how to make things work. It was pretty boring, but uh, technical work um, for an area that is, um, uh, you know, how can I say? It's sort of the uh, the, the Goldshire uh, of this particular uh, place, I guess, or the or, or the North, uh, what's it called? The, the, um, the Northshire Abbey. Anyways, um, I hope that you have actually enjoyed um, these series of videos. I will most likely not be doing any more videos about this area, and I'm going to be moving on to uh, different projects. Um, the different projects, I'm, I'll probably be looking at doing my own version of, the, of, of, of Gilneas not using any imported uh, resources, or at least not using many. Um, and I want to see how I can do that, how I can make a tiny little uh, a Gilneas equivalent in the actual nub of land um, that is in uh, classic WoW or vanilla WoW. And I've already started some of that work, uh, and it's pretty interesting, and it's, it's looking promising. We'll see. There's a lot of work just how you saw this area sort of like take shape um, slowly. Hopefully that uh, area will take uh, shape very slowly as well. Um, but until then, everybody, no promises as to when those videos are actually going to come out because I actually have to work on them um, first and it takes quite a bit of time. But um, for now, I hope you've enjoyed. Uh, and uh, if you want to get in contact with me and get some of my work, let me know. So until then, everybody, take it easy.